Hey guys, Mapletail here. Today we're taking a look at the recently revealed cover and blurb for the fifth book of a starless clan, Wind. And we're drawing Splashtail. Let's get into it. Let's start off with that cover. The Warrior Cats website states that the cats featured here are Splashtail, Frostpaw, and Whistlepaw. All which make a lot of sense after the brutal ending of book three. If you've watched my review of Shadow, you know that while we don't know for sure that it was Splashtail who ambushed Frostpaw and left her for dead, I and much of the fandom think he is the most likely suspect so far. So it makes perfect sense that he'd be on the cover with these two apprentices. He's got a big role this arc, and I have a feeling it's only going to get bigger and darker. As far as visuals go, this cover is stunning. I am a sucker for that cloudy purple sky. Very well done and very Wind Clan. I'm here for it. Let's take a look at the blurb. I'll read it for you now. Frostpaw has returned to the lake just in time to reveal all she knows at the gathering. But the clans are reluctant to believe an apprentice who's already admitted to lying about her visions in the past. And she is forced to take refuge in Shadow Clan as Splashtail seizes control of her home. While the other clan leaders debate whether to interfere any further in River Clan affairs, Nightheart has his paws full teaching the clan ways to two park cats who followed him home. And Sunbeam's efforts to fit in as the newest member of Thunder Clan are hampered by her concerns for her mother, who is paying for her treachery with exile and illness. As Berryheart's schemes take an alarming new turn, and Splashtail's ambitions turn towards violence. A few cats' efforts may not be enough to preserve the peace. Okay, wow. <laughs> Some really interesting stuff there. I'm already prepping for the frustration of Frostpaw returning home to not be believed about what she knows. It's very typical warrior cats. <laughs> the bit about her being forced to take refuge in Shadow Clan is fascinating though. And it gives us back a POV there. And all this is due to Splashtail seizing control of her home? Yeah, I knew he was no good. And this wording only confirms how I feel even more. I kinda cannot wait for him as a proper villain if that really is the direction we're headed. Based on Nightheart's part of the blurb, it basically confirms that he is the young warrior who travels with Frostpaw. That's great and all. <laughs> But it also makes me even angrier. Sunbeam gave up her whole life for this guy, and now he's leaving on a big journey while she struggles alone to fit into ThunderClan, the clan she joined for him. Which I still massively disagree with. But whatever. I am curious about the two park cats that follow Nightheart home. It feels like confirmation that Frostpaw's journey takes them to Riverstar's birthplace which is very exciting to me. <laughs> There's not much about Sunbeam here, but her mother? Something's going on with Berryheart. Exile and illness? It sounds like Tigerstar found out about her scheming and has issued punishment. About time. I hope Sunbeam stays far away from her and her small-mindedness. And then, villain details. Berryheart does something even more extreme than we've seen as does Splashtail. And that, I cannot wait to read. Thanks for watching. I'll admit, much of this arc has been personally disappointing, but there is a lot here to look forward to. And I'm going to try to focus on that. I'm excited to read Thunder and later Wind when they both come out. But let me know what you think about it all, and I'll see you next Thursday.